Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we are in Create a Sim and I am making a family using only the base game and this is actually part of my new Crest save file and if you are new to my channel then I am completely building new Crest from top to bottom. I'm doing community lots, residential lots, I'm making a bunch of families and I'm doing it all using only the base game. No CC, no mods, no nothing. Just base game vanilla. And so if that is something that you are interested in, then definitely subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell, you know, that'll help. You'll never be able to miss an episode if you do that. And it would definitely help me out a lot as well. And this is actually the very first family that I recorded myself making for my save file. And I am so happy that I actually recorded myself making this family because they turned out so cute. This is a three generational family. And so it consists of eight Sims in total. And there is a grandpa, there is two parents, a mom and a dad. There are two twin teens, uh, one is a girl and one is a boy. And then there's a, ch a child, which is a girl, and a boy toddler and a girl infant. And so definitely a big, large family they are. And they all live in one house. They actually live in the lake house that I built just, um, I think I shared it last week. And that is actually their place. That's their residential lot. That's where they live. And when I share the save file, that is where they're going to be. And um, yeah, I think they turned out so stinking cute. And this is the mom. Her name is Hana Suzuki. And Suzuki is their family name. They all have the last name Suzuki. Right now, she doesn't have a name in the left corner. But here in a little bit, you're going to see Hana Chang. And I changed the last name from Chang to Suzuki. I don't know. I just thought Suzuki fit them a little bit more and fit their storyline too. They are actually from Mount Komorebi. Both parents and grandpa were all born and raised in Mount Komorebi and they love it there. But the father, whose name is Rokuro, and I apologize if I mispronounced that, um, he, his name is Roku for short, so in future in this video, I'm probably just going to be saying Roku instead of Rokuro, and he just got a new job as an author, and he actually, his office is closest to Newcrest, and that is why they ended up moving there. And they have some family over in Mount Komorebi still, and they're excited to go and visit Mount Komorebi, but they are also very excited to start their new life in Newcrest. So a little bit more about Hana. She is the mom of the family. She is the matriarch, and her traits are perfectionist, self-assured, and snob. And so, um, Snob, I don't, I mean, she looks so sweet to me, you know, but I just wanted to, you know, when I create Sims, I like to add different traits and I like to do a couple good traits and then a not so good trait. And so I thought Snob kind of fit her the most. I didn't think she was mean. She definitely isn't lazy. Um, and so Snob, someone can be a snob and still be nice. <laughs> And so um, I thought that fit her the most. And she also loves painting and that is actually her career. She is a professional painter and she has loved painting since she was a little girl. She actually used to work in the business career and she just never loved going to work every day. She despised it. Her passion is definitely in painting. And so she worked some stuff out with her hubby and they decided to let her focus on her dreams. They, it might not be making as much money as she was making at the business career, but you know, Roku is making good money himself as a writer. And so they thought it was the perfect time while the kids are young for her to go into her career of choice, which happens to be painting. And she also, some of her other likes and dislikes are red and gray. Those are her two favorite colors. And of course she loves to paint and she loves classical music and she loves blues. And some of her dislikes are the color pink, hip hop music and video gaming. And 
She, her aspiration also is fabulously wealthy. Um, she wants to have a nice, good, successful career, but at the same time, doing something she loves to do, which is painting. And actually in The Sims, she's lucky because she can make some really good money by painting. <laughs> and so uh, it's probably a good career choice that they made to allow her to focus on her dreams and become the painter that she always wanted to be. And I also gave each of these family members some skills. And so Hana's skills are gardening, cooking, and painting. And now we are actually over into the dad of the family now. And like I was saying, his real name is Rokuto. And for short, his nickname is Roku. And he is a professional writer. He actually has several best-selling books. Um, they are very, very popular. And um, he has an aspiration of best-selling author. And some of his traits are ambitious, non-committal, and bookworm. So definitely bookworm matches and he is non-committal he had a previous marriage that failed he is not one that likes to be tied down but he fell in love with Hana Hana just stole his heart and so he decided to tie the knot with her but that would be the only Sam he would ever do that for because he just loves her that much <laughs> he is definitely a man that does not like to be tied down but when it comes to the woman he loves he will do whatever she says and as you can see they have a little bit of an age difference um not too long um she's not too much younger than him but about 10 years younger, about 10 sim years younger, and actually the two teens in the family are not Hana's kids. Uh, Hana has the child, the toddler, and the infant, and the two teens are from Roku's previous marriage, and the mom is no longer in the picture. She still lives in Mount Komorebi, and she is not going to be in my save file. <laughs> um, we do not speak of the ex-wife. <laughs> um, she, like I said, is still a Mount Komorebi, living her best life. And some of Roku's likes are the colors gray and the colors black. And he loves classical music and romance music. And he loves to write and he loves to play piano. And some of his dislikes are the color yellow and R&B music and cooking. He cannot stand to cook, okay? And that actually works out really perfect because Hana loves cooking. <laughs> so it's like a match made in heaven. And so some of his skills that I gave him are fitness because he is very much fit, okay? And charisma and logic. And I do not remember really the levels that I set for each of these Sims, but I at least wrote down the skills that I gave them. <laughs> and so yeah we are almost done with Roku we are just finishing up the last several outfits for him and so I'm going to go ahead and get into the grandfather and explain a little bit about him so his name is Ito Suzuki he like I said about the other two parents he was born and raised in Mount Komorebi. Now, when it came to leaving Mount Komorebi, Ito was not happy at all. Um, he did not want to leave their house in Mount Komorebi, but Roku um, is the son of Ito. That is how Ito is the paternal grandfather. And so Roku is actually an only child. And so he doesn't have any other siblings that would be able to help take care of Ito. So he unfortunately told Ito, you have to move with us. You can't live here by yourself. You need all of our help. And so poor Ito just had to suck it up and move to Newcrest. But like I was saying earlier, they definitely are going to take several vacations to Mount Komorebi and visit it all the time. This, and you know, they might even move back in the future. That is not out of the question at all. And so grandpa, grandpa Ito, he is just an awesome grandpa. He's probably the best grandpa that his grandkids could ask for. He loves to do handiness. He loves building things. He built them a tree house in their backyard. He is all around just a handy guy. Like if you need something built, ask Grandpa Ito because he's definitely going to be able to build it for you and build it really good too. He actually was in the manual labor career throughout his whole adulthood. That is what he did for an occupation 
and so that is probably where he learned all of it from. He also learned a lot from his father and his grandfather in the good old days. And so let's get into his traits. So I ended up picking for him family oriented, geek and creative. I thought that fit really well. Um, and some of his likes are gray and blue and he loves retro music and handiness and video gaming. He is definitely hip. Um, he knows how to stay in touch with the grandkids. He can just play video games with them. And uh, some of his dislikes are fishing, hip hop, and the color green. And for his aspiration, I chose neighborhood confidant. That's not one that I choose very often. And so I thought it was perfect to choose it for him. And so the skills that I gave him are handiness, logic, and charisma. And that's pretty much all there is to say about Grandpa Ito. Um, he's awesome, we love him, and his grandkids love him as well. <laughs> and so now we are over into the teen son, and his name is Akito. And some of his likes are black and blue, he loves alternative music, he loves video gaming, and he loves handiness. Just like his grandpa, he learns a lot from his grandpa. And some of his dislikes are the color pink, classical music, and fitness and his traits that I gave him were geek and creative so he's very very into video gaming and programming and he loves he dabbles in writing every once in a while too just like his dad but his real passion is in like the technology world and so he hopes to become a tech guru once he graduates out of high school and right now he actually makes some side cash out of school hours when he does some like programming and he does a little bit of hacking but you know don't tell his parents that <laughs> and so he makes a little bit of money that way for some extra spending money and yeah that's pretty much all about Akito um, he's very very cute though wasn't he I love the outfit that I chose for him and oh and I gave him some skills and so I gave him the pro programming skills and video gaming skill and yeah I thought it fit perfect so we are over into the teen daughter now and Akito and Ari is her name they are twins and um, they are very very close but they are very very opposite so she is very sporty very preppy kinda and really good at school well Ak Akito is good at school too but he is more so on the geek side. He likes Star Wars, he likes video gaming, he likes programming, he likes making, you know, different mods for video games. And Ari could not stand any of that. She is very much a very active girl. Um, she loves playing soccer and she loves playing softball and cheerleading dance all of that she loves all of it and she hopes one day to be able to go into the sporting career I, f I think it is it sports career or like the fitness career and so that is what she wants to do when she grows into an adult and so the traits that I gave her are active and romantic she really dreams of finding her perfect soulmate and marrying him one day and being with only one person she's really not interested in sleeping around or being with a bunch of different boys um, she wants to find like one that she really really likes and loves and marry him have kids you know have a really happy life and so that is what she is looking forward to and that's what she dreams of um, so her aspiration is soulmate um, that kind of ties in hand with the whole romance trait, the whole romantic trait, and some of her likes are the color pink, romance music, pop music, and fitness, and some of her dislikes are the color black, she can't stand kids radio, or alternative music, and video games. So as I was saying, her and Akito are very, very opposite but they are very, very close as well. So they definitely don't let their differences get in the way. And I think that's really awesome for family members to do. Um, nobody is going to get along 100% of the time. And so you just gotta overlook your differences and at the end of the day, you are family. So, and I gave her a couple of skills as well and I gave her the fitness skill and the charisma skill. 
And that's pretty much all there is to say about Ari. Um, she really is just like a girl next door type of sim. And so let's go ahead and get started on the child. She is a daughter and her name is Emmy Suzuki. And as I was saying earlier, the twins are Roku's biological children, but are not Hana's biological children. But Hana has been in the picture for quite some time now. She basically helped raise the two twins. And so they are very, very close with her. There's really not any harsh feelings in this family towards anybody. Everybody gets along really, really well. And so Emmy is the first child that Hana actually had biologically and I gave her the geek trait. So she is very much just like her older brother and just like her grandpa. She is very, very close to Grandpa Ito. Um, the tree house in their backyard, yes. In case you guys missed the lake house that I did, um, I did in fact build a base game only tree house. <laughs> and so if you're interested in seeing that, then definitely take a look at my channel and look back Probably last week I think I posted it and it's like a suburban house with like a lake in the back and I did a base game only tree house and it turned out really really well too. But I was thinking that Emmy and her grandpa Ito built that tree house together and he was showing her all the ins and outs of handiness and all the tips and tricks and stuff and she really really loves spending time with her grandpa like that. And of course he loves it as well. He really looks forward to when she gets off of school and they are able to hang out together and he can teach her more about the handiness skill. And uh, like I was saying, I gave her the geek trait and some of her, oh, and her aspiration is rambunctious scamp. And some of her likes are the colors blue, purple, and pink. And she loves pop music, kids radio, and she loves video gaming. And I would have given her handiness as well, um, but I don't think kids can actually do handiness, and so I wasn't able to add that. And some of her dislikes are the color green, retro music, piano, and violin. So, Grandpa Ito loves retro music, and she can stay on retro music. <laughs> that is probably the only difference that they really have. And um, the traits that I gave her are motor and creativity, and... I can't remember exactly the number, like the level that I gave her, but it's pretty up there, I, I wanna say. And so let's go ahead and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the toddler and the infant. And of course there's not much to say about these two. Um, so the toddler's name is Kenji, and I think that is just like such an adorable name. And I gave him the inquisitive trait and then the infant girl's name is Amy, and I gave her the intense trait. And you guys will see here in a little bit um, how intense little Amy actually looks. <laughs> she kind of, I mean, she's cute, of course, they're always cute, but she definitely looks like she could be a handful, and that's what I was going for a little bit. Um, this is, you know, my mom was always told that the third child is always the sweetest, but in this case, that did not happen for Hana. <laughs> um, her third child is probably the problem child. Uh, definitely emotional, definitely wants to cry and throw a fit and stuff like that. But nonetheless, they love her very, very much. And Kenji is just inquisitive. He is just like an adorable little boy. I gave him glasses too, which is not something that I do very often for my toddlers, but I just thought him wearing glasses, it fit his face so much and that haircut that he has, I thought it was really cute and so I wanted to go ahead and do that. And that is pretty much it guys. That's pretty much sums up the Suzuki family. They are a base game only family and they will be in my save file. So definitely stay tuned for my save file. And like I was saying earlier in the video, um, definitely subscribe. And if you guys made it this far, then you definitely like the video. So liking it, physically hitting the thumbs up button and liking the video will definitely help me out a lot. It's 
it really helps the algorithm push it to other simmers just like you like I was saying in the beginning of this video and yeah um, with me being a new channel I need all the help that I can get <laughs> um, and just I really appreciate you guys for helping me out so much and staying tuned and watching my channel grow it's so much fun and I am looking forward to all of my future videos so with that being said guys this is pretty much it there's not much else to say about the family and so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend it is Friday thank goodness and it's pretty much the end of the day on Friday and so I'm sure all of you guys that go to work are going to be getting let out of work soon at least here on the East Coast anyways and other than that have fun this weekend don't you know do anything too crazy <laughs> or do something crazy I guess it doesn't really have anything to do with me but uh, just be safe nonetheless and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful night and I'll see you in the next video bye guys a heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire 